salmon pinwheels um, and some size but I'm not gonna show y'all my size I'm just gonna show y'all how we do the pinwheels I have my two besties here Jazz and Chelsea I'm Jazz. as you can see they have their businesses <laughs> on their aprons as well we got chocolate creations my sis do hair she got all the stuff for y'all and then we got 2.17 <laughs> <laughs> it's just 217 <laughs> So we got 217. My girl sells bags, honey. Period. Luxury bags. Right. Okay, so we're gonna get started. All right, skirt, skirt. Let's stop right here. We are showing you guys all of the products that we are using to make the um, actual stuffing for the salmon. Um, and it is three of us, so <laughs> sorry about all of the stuff coming to y'all in the camera. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we have some cream cheese, ranch seasoning, we have eight ounces of crab meat, we have some spinach, a lemon, and some garlic. Um, so we have one large salmon, and because it was three of us, I just split the ingredients into three of us, but I'm going to tell you the ingredients it would take, you know, for one person to make it, of course. So it's going to take about one and a half packs of, uh, one and a half blocks of cream cheese, um and about one and a half packs of ranch seasoning so yeah so about one and a half packs um you just see me putting half of a pack because of course it's split into three um and then after that we're gonna go ahead and move into the garlic so i was just basically showing them how to mince garlic um and the easiest way to mince the garlic with a knife if you don't have like a food processor or something like that so we just used about seven to eight cloves of garlic um or about two to three tablespoons if you have pre-minced garlic um and then next we're going to go ahead and chop up three handfuls of spinach um i went ahead and got the fresh spinach or the bag spinach whatever you want to call it um and not like the frozen spinach just because i like i don't know i think i like the fresh bag better or the fresh spinach better um then the frozen so yeah we just went ahead and chopped that up and put that inside of our bowl with everything else in there got i forgot to apologize to y'all about the blurriness of the camera i'm so sorry so sorry but yeah this is the crab meat that i use it's handy seafood special crab meat um and it's best used for dips and stuffings or whatever please do not get imitation crab meat do not get imitation crab meat it does not taste the same um so here you see me putting in about three tablespoons of um crab meat but in total we used about three fourth um cup of the crab meat that's eight ounces um in that jar so really you could just pour that whole thing in there to be honest with you especially if you don't have anything else to use it for just go ahead and pour the whole thing inside of the um inside of your mixture it's not gonna hurt um so here we're gonna squeeze in one and a half lemons or one and a half lemon <laughs> or whatever you want to say it um yeah so just squeezing one and a half lemon i was just showing them how to i don't know if i put that in here showing them how to squeeze it without getting the seeds inside you just put the lemon in your hand like upside down i guess and then just squeeze it that way and catch the seeds in your hand um and that way you don't have to pick out seeds out of your mixture i um, mean after that just give it a really good mix mix it up really really good make sure everything is well incorporated um and then after that, we're gonna move into the seasoning. So just get into the mix real quick. All right, so I definitely forgot to measure out the seasonings for this part before we went ahead and did it. So y'all just see me eyeballing. I told them to eyeball too. I told them to just sprinkle some on there. 
Um, so in total, well, the seasons that we used was garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and Creole seasoning. And we just used about two teaspoons of all four seasonings. And that seasoning that you just saw, I'm sorry, it was definitely backwards. That was the paprika. <laughs> I thought I put it forward, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, definitely want to put all four of those in there. So about two teaspoons of each seasoning. And go ahead and mix, 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 mix. Make sure it's well incorporated. You can never mix too much for this stuffing, okay? And y'all see me adding in that extra tablespoon because I only had three before and I put in another one. Yeah, just go ahead and pour the whole thing inside of your bowl. It, it doesn't hurt. All right, you guys, so once you mix everything together, we are going to go ahead and get into this salmon. Here you see me um, getting ready to de-skin the salmon. However you say it, I think that that's right. I don't know. Um, I'm sure y'all have seen this plenty of times on like TikTok or YouTube or Instagram. Um, hopefully, hopefully, if you don't know how to do it yet, you'll know how to do it after this. Um, so I started by cutting the slit in the tail end of the salmon so that I can have enough to grip. Um, I took the knife and cut a little slit off the skin to have somewhere to start. Um, or you can just peel it back a little with your hand. Um, as you hold the tail end of the salmon, put your hand at a 45 degree angle. Um, you may have to go back and forth a few times to um, gain some leverage. But once you do that, you should be able to slide all the way through without much hesitation or issues. Um, but that's all you do and then you're done. Once you de-skin it, um, give your salmon a rinse. You can rinse it with a little bit of lime or a little bit of lemon, but please make sure that you rinse the lemon and the lime off or your salmon is going to cook that. The citrus cooks your salmon. Um, and you don't want that. So after you rinse it off, just dry it, pat it dry with some paper towel. Um, and then you see me, I have two cutting boards down because of the length of the salmon. If you don't have the cutting boards, then just use a long sheet of aluminum foil or whatever you have. All right. So now we are getting into our seasonings that we're going to put on the salmon. So you see me pointing at two teaspoons of complete seasoning, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of Tony's Creole seasoning, and three teaspoons of Old Bay. Um, I let them mix that all up so that we can be able to um, coat the salmon evenly. And those those measurements are both of those plates put together. I just gave them both each um, half and half so that they can, you know, both have something to do. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the measurements for the seasoning. Um, once they get done mixing, we are going to um, go ahead and oh, let me go backwards. I forgot to add in the pepper and the salt inside of the seasoning mix. And literally, I just added a pinch of both um, to each one. So I will say about one teaspoon of each. And you really don't even have to add salt if you don't want because the Tony's and the Old Bay and the Complete Seasoning, actually all three have salt already. Um, so they are going ahead and seasoning both sides of the salmon. As you put the seasoning on, when you put the seasoning on, you see me patting it. Go ahead and pat the seasoning in there, massage it in there. You want some good, flavorful salmon. You want your food to taste good. So go ahead and put all of that on there. Um, and then you're going to see what we're going to do with the rest of that seasoning mix. All right, y'all. So right here, y'all just see me being a little bit extra. <laughs> I'm telling them, this is my side, this your side, this your side. Don't put your stuff on my side. <laughs> because i want to eat my own um but of course you'll be making one big salmon so you don't have to do all of that um but so once you are done seasoning everything you're just going to take your mixture that you already mixed give it one more good stir um never mix too much and then just go ahead and put your mixture on your salmon you want to make sure that you are not putting too thick of a layer on there because if you do then it'll all fall out on the sides um so don't make it too thin but also don't just you know go pouring all of it on there um if you do have filling left over you can put it in a ziploc bag and use it another time put it in the freezer um you can add it to um, a saucepan with some chicken broth and make a sauce to pour over the salmon 
Um, or you can just throw it away, honey. As Tabitha Brown says, that's your business. Okay, we are almost done. So right here, you see me rolling um, the salmon up. Um, and you're gonna take the tail in first and roll it that way. Now you can slice this roll as many times as you want. You can make it as thin as you want. You can make it as thick as you want. Like I said earlier, I was really being extra. <laughs> I cut out their portions and I cut out my side, okay? Um, but you do not have to do that. You can make them as thin as you want. Ooh, y'all, y'all see that? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Looks like a cinnamon roll. Um, and that's what you want it to look like inside. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and slice those and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and took these from there and put them in the pan. Y'all, those things were huge. Um, I put them in the pan and then I just went ahead and chopped up some butter or cut up some butter. Y'all, I just eyeballed it. It's not a tablespoon, teaspoon. I literally just cut up some butter and just laid it on top of the um, salmon pieces. I think I put maybe like three pieces on each salmon. Um, some of them broke in half. I just put the half pieces. Oh, I did season it first. Definitely videos don't lie. I did season it first with the leftover mixture that we have. And y'all, if y'all have more of that leftover, put it in a Ziploc bag or an empty um, seasoning container that you have. Pour it in there. You can use it as blackening seasoning for some fish or some shrimp or whatever. Um, you can always use that seasoning. You do not have to throw it away if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, so you see me putting the butter on the salmon and then here we are covering the salmon. I preheated the oven to 375 and I put the salmon in for about 35 minutes. When it came out, it did not need to go in the broiler. It was still juicy. It was not dry. It was not overcooked. It came out amazing, y'all. Look at it. It looks so good. You see it bubbling still. It just came out. I lost the clip of me pulling it off. Or I think I wasn't recording. But yeah, good. So this is what I paired it with. Some green beans, some cream corn, and some mashed potatoes. Let me know if y'all want to see those sides. But y'all, everything was bomb. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time.